Hello you beautiful souls and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I want to show you how I draw heads in a few very simple steps. I start by drawing a circle and I also place a line down the middle because our head is gonna face forward. I add a little bit of additional space underneath for the chin. Next thing I do, I measure out the middle because that's exactly where our eyes are gonna be. Let's double check. Yep, it fits. So the next thing I do is down the middle line, but still in the circle, I add a tiny little circle for the tip of the nose and on top of that add this diamond shape. Next thing we need is the eyes and I just draw that on the second middle line that we drew before. I'm also putting a line where the mouth is supposed to be and at this point it really doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just really spacing out where all the facial features are supposed to go and if it doesn't look perfect right now, that's totally cool. Those lines that I'm drawing, they are not a necessity to do, but they help me map out the dimensions of the face because they kind of, you know, already put the cheekbones in place. Let's add some eyebrows as well as some ears. And with the ears, it's actually really easy to place them. If the person is looking at you from a straight angle, the upper part of the ears starts where the eyes are and it goes down until the nose ends. At this point, I'm able to divide my face into three sections. There is a little bit of extra on top, but right now that's not so important. The first and lower section reaches from the bottom of the nose till the chin and it, in between there's just the mouth. And the second part is basically just the nose and goes to the middle of the eyes. And from there it's just the middle of the eyes till the hairline. I'm done with my overall layout and now really what I need to do is just add more details, which I do gradually. I add details like nostrils, a few wrinkles, some creases and all that stuff. At this stage I'm always very careful and I also prefer sketching with a very light pencil because that way if I mess something up or if it doesn't come out the way I want it to look, I can always erase it and go back over it again. Once I'm happy with how things look, I choose a pencil that's a little bit softer or a little bit darker and I just go over my lines again and maybe even add a little bit of shading. So now we have drawn a head that has rather male characteristics. If you want to draw a head that has female characteristics, the steps are not very different. So the base layout is basically the same. You draw a circle, you add your middle lines and you add where all the facial features are supposed to be. But the difference between a male and a female face, however, are that female face is a little bit softer, like the edges aren't so sharp, the jawline isn't as prominent, same as the nose. Usually it's not as big or as, you know, strong as a male nose. The lips are a little bit softer. And when drawing females, I also like to add a few more lashes. We all know that males have lashes and sometimes, even though it's very unfair, they even have prettier lashes than we ladies do. But you know, I just like the visual of it and I like it in my drawings and that's why I do it. Okay, so now we have already drawn a female and a male head from the front. And how do we do it from the side though? It's actually not that complicated. I recommend that you take over the guidelines that you have from your previous drawing. Just take them over from the side and you already have the measurements of how tall and how long everything is supposed to be. But instead of going down in the middle, in this example we're going down to the left because we're facing the left. And I also add another little circle which is roughly supposed to map out where the ear eyebrow area is supposed to be. Because we're using the same guidelines we also already know where the chin is supposed to be and we just need to go from there. Another mistake that I see people do a lot is when they draw the neck, they go straight down from the back of the head, but it's actually curved slightly inwards because you know, like the skull is round and give it that space. We're looking onto the head from a different perspective. So we obviously see more from the ear as well as we see less from the eye. When we're looking at it from a straight perspective, it's more like an almond shape, but because now we see much less, I sketch it in as a triangle. The nose pretty much stays the same. It's a circle. And on top of that, I add the diamond shape because it's easier for me to map out where the nostril is supposed to go, as well as to already define where I will have a little bit of shadow. The process is the same as before, so once I'm happy with the overall layout and I add my eyebrows, I from there start sketching more details until I'm happy and I go over the lines again with a darker pencil or liner. I use the method with the two overlapping middle lines whenever I draw a head and it doesn't matter in which direction it looks because it's actually a really great help. 
So if you're practicing head turns, I highly recommend that you use this method. It helps you to define where they're supposed to go and it also helps for you to have them in the right size, like that way they don't go too big or they don't go too small. You already have a rough idea where they're supposed to be and how they're supposed to look like. I hope I was able to explain a few things to you and I hope that you liked the video. It would be really cool to see you again, so if you want to see more, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next week.